For some people, golf is a passion. But for Brett Cassavant, this is just for fun. What really matters to him is his wife, his two kids, and his time as a U.S. Marine. I was in the Marine Corps for six years, two months, 23 days. He signed up shortly after graduating Weymouth High School and was still in boot camp in Jacksonville, North Carolina, when he and his high school sweetheart married. Their wedding was featured on the TV show Inside Edition. Brett and his wife would not see each other again for nearly a year. It was within a year of me enlisting that I found out I was going to Iraq. It was 2003, the beginning of the war in Iraq. Brett went weeks without being able to call his wife, so he made his own cardboard postcards to send home. We still have them, just my postcard saying, I'm alive, don't worry. Brett did come home, alive and well, but within months, he was back in Iraq. We'd get bombed when while we were sleeping. We'd have like artillery and mortars and rockets land, and, you know, just feet from us as we were sleeping. And the only thing that saves your life is a cement wall, you know, a jersey barrier. You can't drop, you know, the, your, your guard. You have to be constantly alert. And then came the moment that changed his life. Brett struggles to remember it clearly. There was about to be an explosion. I remember that and I jump, uh, it's kind of cloudy. House, wall, something like that, so I jumped. He would spend the rest of that tour of duty hospitalized while his unit continued to fight. I felt like a complete failure. Um, we lost so many Marines, guys I knew, and uh, guys that I thought were kids comparatively. I mean, we were 22 and they were 19, I, you know, they were kids to me, uh, being killed in, uh, it just felt horrible. That sense of battlefield failure and fear followed him home. You're looking at everybody and everything differently. Uh, driving down the road, you see a piece of trash on the side of the road and you, you know, veer away from it. Uh, just because we're so used to IEDs on the side of the road. I felt helpless and confused. All the Marines felt the same way and I just didn't know how to, I didn't know how to fix myself. I didn't know how to fix them and then you know, I have my wife who's trying to figure me out as well. How does your wife describe what it was like to live with you when you came home from Iraq? Um, she, she's, you know, she said I married somebody else. You know, she, she married a different Brett, a different, uh, different man. It got so bad that a physical therapist treating his back injury told him... I should go to the mental health uh, clinic. So I went there and they said I have PTSD. And I'm like, no, you know, that's like the four-letter word that no one likes to say. It's like, I don't have that, you know, I'm not, I'm a tough guy, I'm a Marine. And then another blow. The Marines determined his back injuries were too serious to allow him to continue to serve. I was lost, you know, I was just like, I went from being a machine gunner in the Marine Corps in a combat instructor to, you know, having no job and collecting unemployment. It was just, <laughs> I was going, I was getting, I was going like, I was going crazy. And luckily, at the same time, I heard about the home base program. It was unlike any other place he had gone for treatment. And he knew, finally, he was going to get the help he needed. They didn't put pressure on me to meet any of their goals. So I was like, OK, this is great. I just felt so relieved. I was like, going in there, just going in there, I just felt relieved. Like, I, cause I knew things were going to get better for me. He says the home base staff made it easy for him, scheduling appointments to fit his schedule, encouraging him to bring in his family, and perhaps most important, offering him a choice of treatments. You know, I'm proud to be a veteran, I'm proud to be a Marine, but you know, it's just to be to care about me because I'm me. You know, that's. That felt better. And he says validating to realize the stress, headaches, even memory loss that so profoundly impacted his personality are more than coincidence. They are war's invisible injuries. Veterans do need care, whether they know it or not. Veterans can, can get better and get the help that they need and deserve. 